iPad and you have your USB-C to USB-A adapter and you're having an issue transferring files, videos, and pictures onto your, your new iPad Pro. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to fix that issue real quick. Obviously, you're going to need your connection, your USB-C uh, to USB-A or USB-C to SD card reader. Whatever you have, this is going to fix the issue if you're not able to get your photos. As you see right here, I have my jump drive pulled up right here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to have to create a file so the iPad knows where to pull this from. So you might not be having this issue if this is already on there. So what we're going to do is come over here. We're going to right click. We're going to go to new. We're going to create a new folder. Now it's very important what you name this. So this is going to be called DCIM. Okay, so we're going to create a DCIM folder right here. We're going to open this folder. And then within this folder, we have to create one more. So we're going to go right here. We're going to go to folder. We're going to name this one 100 media. Okay. Oop. Okay, 100 media. So now that we have this 100 media folder, there's nothing in it. This is where we can go and we can actually start putting photos into here. And they will transfer back over. So let's just say we're going to go to pictures right here. Um, let's just say 2014 Tennessee trip. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take these photos and we're going to put them into our... Um, the folder we just created now, that's the thing we got to make sure it goes into the right folder Okay So we're going to come down here to desktop. We're going to see where the DCIM is We're going to open that up see the 100 media We take these three photos and we're going to drop them right there into the 100 media. Okay So there we go. So what we have right now is we've done went ahead and we've taken the photos that we've wanted and put it onto our jump drive We created that DCMI DCIM folder and we created the 100 media folder. So now what's going to happen is we're going to connect this to the iPad Pro and it should completely load up and import. Okay, so now we have the iPad pulled up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to connect our USB C to USB A adapter with the thumb drive into the iPad. It's going to activate, and as you can see right here, it's going to go to import. Here's our photos right here, okay? So all we're going to do is we're going to select all these photos, and up here you can choose if you want it to go to library or whatever you want. So we're going to say new album, and we're going to say import. Um, we're just going to save it right there. Uh, we're going to do those. It's going to go to import, so I'm going to touch this, and it says duplicates found. That's fine. Uh, these photos are already on. Um, and we're going to delete those off the jump drive, which I'm fine with. So we're going to go ahead and hit delete. And then I can go into my albums. I click on import. And as you can see, uh, I have my photos right here that we just imported off the jump drive. So it's very important to understand that you got to make sure that that file is named correctly. So make sure that, you know, you have everything that you need. You have that DCI, DCIM file along with that 100 media file and you won't have any issues if you got any questions leave them in the comments below if you enjoyed the video please click the like button and subscribe for more content thanks for watching